So my house is in disarray right now, but I am going to show you this. This is my altar of doom gaze. That's a uh, Marshall uh, cabinet there, one of their hand-wired models. And that is a Brooks Blackhawk Plexi. Uh, I don't know, he might have a model name for it, but basically he, he took a... I think a JCM 800 or a Plexi or something, some something that was a Marshall and uh, basically modified the heck out of it or rebuilt it or put his stuff in there. And it sounds awesome. Brooks could probably clarify on that, but it is amazing. I played through it. I recorded some tracks on that on my last album, Mage. Helios Creed tracked on that for uh, Techromancy, and he played live um, on the stateside shows that I played with them out of this rig. We, it's amazing. It's, it's does yeah, it's awesome. And then here is the uh, Muff Diver. That's that's what it's called. I didn't name it that. Um, but yeah, this is basically a green Big Muff clone, uh, the Sovtech, you know. And um, basically it has, it's different. It has a, a mod on it where you can select the Cornish, a peak Cornish circuit, uh, basically what David Gilmore used sometime in the 70s. Um, that might have been its own pedal or a mod that Pete Cornish put on a Muff pedal that David Gilmore had, but regardless, uh, I like using it. It's that's my preferred setting. Um, it tightens up the guitar sound more compressed, I guess. Um, it's great for leads. It sounds like it gives them those violin sustaining leads that are just, uh, can't be beat, man. And so like my, yeah, I, I played that through, uh, when I first started, I played that through a, Fender Super 6 and a Ampeg V4 full stack. I had those dimed. Um, I think we're trying to do the amp worship thing, to be honest. Um, but yeah, check this thing's been through. You know, I don't even know if all the bits are in. I retired this pedal. I don't know if all the bits are in there. I don't know. You know, so we're just done. I have, I my friend Billy Kyle, who's in the band Will, has... I'll deal with that later. Um, I, I, I bought a couple off of him because he, he got a couple when I did. Um, and so I have, I believe, two functioning ones. And Billy Kyle had his modified. And so those are mine now. And I'll show you those another time. But yeah, anyway, this is it. And then this is my great-grandfather's trumpet. And he was a Freemason, a Swedish immigrant, and a printer. Um, he, he immigrated from Malmo, Sweden, and then we got, yeah, he printed this, um, and then, yeah, he got, he got the mother sky. All right. Um, uh, so we're talking about doom gaze, um, the altar of doom gaze and the tools of the trade. All right. Stay tuned. I'll show you some more of my gear. And then hopefully once I get the electricity fixed, we'll, you know, maybe I'll plug in a synthesizer and make it go bleep, bleep, bloop, because I do that too. All right, uh, follow, like, and subscribe, Doomgazers. Oh, yeah.